run the world. Women are getting ready. Women are going to take the lead. I can't have that. I can't have that. Brothers, y'all got to step y'all game up. Period. Point blank. I can't. We cannot live in a world. We cannot live in a world where women are running it. We'll be in trouble. We'll be in trouble. We cannot. You cannot have. You cannot have emotional beings running the world. You have to have men who are who receive instruction from a higher power, who then pass it on down and know how to lead. No, 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 no. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Period. People will look at that and they'll and they'll dissect that so many different ways. But I think the most important thing you said is about human power, and I think that's that's the time that we're in now. It's a, it's a time of where it's it, everyone being aware of who you are and what you and the voice that you have and and the humanity and the, and the power that you have against others. You know, no matter uh, what you may stand for, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm, I'm just uh, realize what you can, how you can affect someone else in in their environment. Negatively and positively is being recognized. So human power is human power. I think is 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 awakening. Oh yes, and like when you talked about that synergy, a man and a woman on one accord working together, striving for common goals. You know, maybe having different strategies, but the same objective. Being able to harmonize, being able to vibe, staying up late nights. You know, early mornings, talking, vibing. You know, just. All of that, there's so much power in that. And I'm not ever discrediting discrediting the role of a woman. Hear what I'm saying. And I'm not just speaking to you. I'm just saying to my listening audience. What I'm saying is there was a, there's an order that's already been set. And the further you get away from something that's supposed to be done decently in order, then you have to wear... You know, uh, the woman is the head of of the household and now she's experiencing all these health related issues because she's taking on roles that she wasn't designed to take on. And then you have men who are having health related issues because they're carrying in a load and that that and it, and it's not all of what they're supposed to be carrying because there's an imbalance. Now they're experiencing all these health issues. There's a lot of things that go on based on lack of communication. You know, communication. So for you, what is it that you are looking for when it comes to a a sister? What is it that, well, no, I won't say that. You know why I don't want to know? Because there's somebody listening that's getting ready to adjust. I'm looking out for you, Lee. Ooh, ooh I got your back. Because I was definitely, I had a perfect little swerve around that one. I... Listen too poetically correct. <laughs> about it i said let me not do that one let me not mm -mm, let me back out of that one because i know that i was gonna say no i was gonna say like um what is it that you want the show and and why we posted on um well the main thing we posted on youtube is because (laughs) i wanted i think i wanted to have like a visual with it so when people can see they can feel the vibe and the energy from it and i think that was that was key thing doing i was like yo we we can't do a show (laughs) without Making it visual. And so, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you asked that question. A lot of people ask that question. And, you know, I, I don't think you've asked me that until now. Lee, you are a mess. Oh, okay. Um. So, anyway, what a, I want to know if you will share with us some, I'll share some recent, anything recent that you have written, Um. you know, bars that you would like to share with the listening audience, I think this is a perfect time for you to come to the stage. We're just gonna segue out of that oh, and segue man, into I like something. How you, do that. you know what? I, wow, I forgot that. Yeah, that's what that is. What this segment is coming to the stage. <laughs> yes, coming to the stage. So, oh, you wow. know, um, do you have anything that you feel comfortable sharing with us on the Sister Speak show this evening? I do. Let's see here. Um, well, let me ask this question: Are you? What kind of vibe do you want to give your audience? I, I want to do that. I think last time I just I, I was rambling and I, and I did something that I was, you know, I wanted to do. But what kind of vibe do you want to give your audience? Well, 
it's nice and cold, and this is the weather where a lot of people would like to snuggle and everything. So let's talk about, why don't you give us a vibe of, hmm. Hmm. It is cuffing season. So you it you is. Want cuffing. Yes. Warm and cuddly. Yes, let's get some fireplace vibe, a fireplace vibe. With somebody uh, who right. is absolutely, you know, dynamic and, and blowing blowing your mind with every word. Okay, we can do that. We okay. Can do that. Blow your mind, blow your mind, blow your mind, blow your mind. You know, I love when someone can blow your mind. And I think it's when you, when you first meet somebody and they make you say, damn. Looking at you was like looking at two. Angels and well, well, I'm a poet. This isn't me being poetic and using a metaphor to tell you how you're better for someone to make you fly. Nah, this is me telling you how you're the apple of my eye and I would love for you to be the fruit of my labor. You see, right now I'm just using these words as pastels to paint my desires as I make you sing higher notes. As my name is the quote that you echo into the middle of the night, but darling. I need to figure out who this is, who this beauty is in my sight. You see, I see you, but feet don't move. Maybe they don't know what to say. And see, right now, I didn't come to play. The DJ is playing my song, baby. So let's let the music lead the way. Because when you dip, I dip, we dip. Imagine, mm. after foreplay, your body, I flip. You see, I'm falling for you, love. But with this grip, I don't slip. Look, here's a tip. Loose lips sink ships. So if you get that and you with that, then let's cut the chit chat and let the beat synchronize our hearts. Where my arms on this dance floor isn't a bad place to start. But laying next to you on the clouds of heaven is a better place to finish or begin. Because it's like ecstasy when you lay next to me. <laughs> I know the words sound nice, but trust me, just trust me. Trust me on this one. The actions are better. You see, I can get game to these fools because they macking is cheddar. I mean, so cheesy. You damn sure ain't easy, but Lord, you leave my lips looking greasy. <laughs> you see, because they just dying for the taste. While me, I'm your personal pace maker. Your heart throb. But after the heat of the night, you wonder, your heart will I rob? But what you don't understand is my heart is vacant and I want to tend it too. I want someone that wants to be in it, not just somebody that wants to win it. Because this love isn't free. This love goes deeper than me. So if it's destined to be, then let's let our souls free. Flying into the winds, because the moment I tell you I love you, I don't want to bend or break those feelings from you. I take, however, love. Those feelings from you I do take and place on the top shelf of my mind and lock into my heart because as my woman, my queen, you represent my spine. Mm. While as your man and your king, I represent the hands on the clock that keeps us together through time. So, yes, something nice for the couples out there tonight. Thank you. Oh, my. I love that one. That was really, really great. <laughs> Let's give it up for Poetic Lee, brothers and sisters. Mm. I'm going to snap and clap at the same time. That was good, though. No, I love it. <laughs> Very, you know, that was a freestyle. So I appreciate it. Like, you know, ooh, you know, some people don't want to freestyle. Some people be like, you know, no, I'm okay. But what I like about that is that, shoot, that flow from beginning to the middle to the end you painted a picture i saw it i'm quite sure the listening audience was able to walk with you on every word and that was a beautiful picture that you painted with words thank you for that thank you i appreciate that i think we've all been in that situation where we've been out somewhere we see something very uh very nice Mm -hmm. we want to get to know that person but gotta take it slow you got to take it slow. But then sometimes I think when it comes to taking it slow, sometimes you can just be feeling somebody so much that you just want, look, I want to get married tomorrow. I'm saying, what's up? <laughs> you know? You know? And it's just like, come on now. So, you know, it's just how that vibe goes. But, you know, timing timing is definitely everything. So what, what um, top five R&B songs... I mean, what are the top five R&B songs of all time that you have to be jamming out to, you know, that you rocking out to? I see when you post your videos, you're always rocking out to mm-hmm. tunes. 1,000 and... sound R&B and soul. 
oh yeah, but see for you to, you know, and I'm just like, dang, because you guys are so young and so powerful and just making, you know, all these bright, you know, bright and big moves. And so like, when I see you listening to this type of music, I'm like, now, oh, like, wait a minute now, that's my type of music. Like, what does he know about that? So what are your top five R&B songs of all time? Ooh, that's tough all time, but I'd say your top five that pop in my head on that okay. night tonight. Um, it's going to be Joe to see. Mm-hmm. Stay. Uh, that's always going to get the mood right. Marvin Gaye, I want, uh, want you. Favorite. That's, that's always just, that's just me right there. That's my favorite. Um, yeah, Mary J. Blige. Mm-hmm. If I had to do with Mary J. Blige, that just sticks out in my head. Probably right now, the one that sticks out in my head right now is just reminisce. Mm-hmm. Um, that's in my head right now. Um, and then if I throw a little um, Get Close by Daniel Caesar hmm. right now, that's if I had to throw like a, some new school in there. So what's that for? Yes. Um, and then like the fifth one, I guess, to something at the top. Um, man, I was jamming to this day, so I guess I'll just roll with it right now. God, peace of my love. <laughs> Yes, yes. I guy forever. Peace of my love. I like I like DOG me out. I mean, guy forever forever forever. And you know, my troop, love troop. Um yes. Oh, I, yes. Troop. I say your top five is tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's tough. Bobby Brown's album, um I really love my girl. I don't know if you've ever heard that song, Bobby Brown. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you know, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, you know. <laughs> and then um, I li- love Anita Baker. All time. Love Anita Baker. Love Sade. Um, yes, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, army songs tough. It is tough. But, you know, it's just like, shoot, am I listening? Pal? Like, for me, before I do a show, how I get amped is I listen to some music. Now, some okay. people may be surprised at some of the music that I listen to. But I have, uh-huh. I have a workout regimen that I, you know that I listen to that just really just puts me in the mood depending on who I'm dealing with. So tonight I was listening to. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. So you can really listen to poetically. Yeah. Poetically. Yeah. Like yeah. Like no. That. Well, so what, you know, okay. So this particular guest, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to definitely, you know, I got to get amp. So I'm listening to you. I don't know if you've ever heard of this artist. I'm listening to EA Ski. I'm listening to Ice Cube. I'm listening okay. to, um, I can't even pronounce her name, but she has a song called Money. I'm listening to a little Sherry Dennis. You know, I'm listening uh, to a little late, okay. you know, later half the way, you know, um, I, like and, and cut close. Have you ever heard of oh, cut? cut close? My favorite song by them is I Like. And then I'm also listening to Ill and Al Scratch, I'll Take Her, with featuring Brian McKnight. Oh, man. See, wow. <laughs> oh, man, see, we can talk all night about music. I like that. I like that. I mean, that's just it. I love, I, I, I just get in the groove and, like, you know, I listen to Ice Cube, the, you know, the... N I G G A that you love to hate. Some people be like, "That's my yeah, song. That is my, definitely. that is my kick through the door. Don't mess with me. Let's do this song." I always put that on, and that just yeah. I about to say yeah. I can see. I can see right now. <laughs> That's my song. Like that when I'm when I'm listening to that, move out the way because like I'm I'm lifting I'm lifting up couches. You know, I'm jumping off of buildings. No, I'm just saying it just gives me it just gives me that crazy energy that just lets me back up. Oh yeah. Oh, you got to back up. Look, I don't look Lee. I'm gonna tell you something about me. I don't take no mess now. <laughs> I, I, I already look, I'm not uh, I can feel I'm not trying to start you I know y'all are not taking it. Oh, but you ain't giving it either. So we gonna always be able to vibe. It's a good vibe forever and I appreciate that. But like I said, music just gets me amped. I listen to music sometimes actually like when I'm painting, I more so watch movies, um, or I just have movies playing in the background. I know that's kinda opposite because a lot of people listen to music when they paint but for me I, mean, well, I think it still provides a good uh, it's, it's almost like it gives you a little different creativity because of what's the, the thing that's going on behind the scene mm-hmm. it is and like for me painting oh, is hold on. Wait, what's, your top, what's your top movie that you have to listen to when painting Okay, well, for me, I now you're making me come out all the way of my bag and be transparent before all of my listening audience. I put on old school suspense movies. <laughs> so any type of 
movie that has a suspense. I like mystery. I like whodunits. I love those type of movies. So that's just what it is. It doesn't it doesn't have to be anything. I'll just type in old school movies, movies from the nineties, movies from so the com- comedy. What genre? No, you said what kind of genre for comedy? Well, what genre? Period. It really gets you going. Suspense movies. The whole the genre of suspense. Like I just that's what I'm into: mystery, thriller, um, those type of movies. Am I answering your question, or do you want me to be even more specific? So it would be like I I watch Lifetime movies. So if I'm watching something from Lifetime, an old Lifetime movie, old old movies like Alfred Hitchcock, um, you know, just things like that. Because I'm always into detective type things. So that's what it is. It's just the, like 80s, 90s in that area, suspense movies, old school movies, cinema like Clint Eastwood type movies. It's weird. I know. I know the listening audience is probably like what. But it's the truth. I am mixed with a lot of diversity when it comes to certain things that would probably be like, mm, really? You know, I mean. It's good to have diversity. It is good to have diversity. I'm not your average. <laughs> I'm just not your average. You just don't know what you're going to get from me. You know what I'm saying? But I paint, good, I paint to movies and I get ready to music, you know, when doing my shows. And that's just what it is. And so when I hit that brush, it releases a whole lot of therapy. Like I just did my first illustration of the year, you know, like that's, that's big for me. But like when I draw, I'm speaking about something I'm going through. Every one of my paintings has to deal with my journey so far. Every single one, you know what I mean? Right. So what's the painting scene like in Atlanta? I mean, Atlanta, in North Carolina and specifically in Charlotte. Cause I know Whitney Austin is from out there. Are you familiar with her work? What? Who doesn't know Whitney? <laughs> She, she's doing her thing for sure. So what do you, you said that you were going on tour. What, what is this tour looking like and what all will you be doing and like what cities are you going to be touching? Because, you know, like I said, I'm trying to come out there in April. I know that, but I think you like, when are you going on tour? Did you say April? You're going on tour? <laughs> yes, April is, uh, it's, it's going to be, uh, man, April is going to be crazy. <laughs> You guys come to Texas. I don't know how you all yeah, can go I, I, I and miss Texas. San Antonio, I love San Antonio. San Antonio, I have, always have a good time there. Okay, but you got to have a I, good I, time I, in Dallas. Okay, this is where we're at. Know, we're in I Dallas. Know, I, know. <laughs> I don't know how you can just I'm give a shout out. I'm not in San Antonio. I don't know why you bring up San Antonio. Yeah, <laughs> like how you just gonna just bypass the DFW. <laughs> forgot about us <laughs> but i do agree san antonio is absolutely beautiful i've definitely have visited san antonio and um one of my biggest was that in san antonio yes it was my biggest disappointedly in san antonio my biggest you already know what it was the alamo oh 
Did you go to the Alamo? Have you been to the Alamo? Oh, yeah, I think. Uh, well, you, did, somebody, did they overhype it for you before you got there? Okay, never mind. I told you that already. Okay, moving on. So, um, <laughs> yes, oh, wow. yes, Lee, yes, that is the that is it. Somebody hyped it up for me. So we've already seen. We already had that conversation. So we've already talked about San Antonio. But do you? you when will you know if you guys are coming to Dallas? I had to look at, I, I had to honestly look at the uh, calendar. I had, I had no idea. I was talking mm-hmm. to someone that I had not looked at the calendar. I'm bad at these things. I just I just know when to pack my bag and I'm gone. Wow. And <laughs> so. Terrible. No, and, and you know what? Don't, don't anyone, no one else to do that. Like, you need to know, have an outline of where you're going. <laughs> I want to do better in three years. <laughs> so, so, so you're going to Cali, and this is all with the group that you're with, correct? No, this is this is this is individual. This is just me right here. Oh, oh! So you yeah. make your you, so you present yourself and you go on tour. Well, this right here, this this right here is, is business and it's going to be art mixed into it. Um, and when you when you when you travel like this, you have to. I mean, you have to present yourself. You know, um, I've talked to I've, I've for the past two years. I wanted to do a college tour, so hopefully, in the fall, I can do that. I think. I mean, at the end of the day, you got you have to. Can't depend on someone else, you know. No. I love the word society is. I love being, you know, in group and everything. But I can't depend on words. I was, I was poetically before I got into word society. True. Not poetically outside of word society and within word society. But at the same time, you can't just sit and say, "Oh, I, I gotta wait for this to do." It. You know, nah. You gotta make, you gotta make things crack on your own because at the end of the day, you, you no know one's gonna do for you like you do for yourself. Uh, no, I agree, and that's what it's about, and that's why I'm so excited because every single one of the guests who have come through the Sister Speak show, no matter what segment they've been on, you just see them doing and and growing, and it's just amazing. I'm like, I've had the opportunity to speak with so many wonderful, wonderful humans, and I'm just so grateful that God allowed me to just like meet everybody so far and you know just to watch you guys growing and doing everything it to to me it's just like really a blessing so with you you know expanding your brand knowing that look if you don't do it it doesn't get done nobody can do you better than you you know nobody i appreciate you giving us this this platform i appreciate you for a second time being able to speak and have fun i I think this conversation was it was more in depth i like that like how we you know we always able to flow within conversation so that I appreciate um I, I can't wait to see you know how you keep developing I, you keep pulling people you keep pulling things so I, I see both our platforms growing yes. of course and I'm yes. not just saying that because you know it's the, it's the cordial thing it's the, <laughs> not hospitality in me but it's me saying that because obviously we both respect our craft and we yes. wouldn't kind of vibe the way we did if we um or connect the way we did if we didn't Oh, I appreciate that. That was that was very nice. And I just like I said with um <clears throat> with your show, I I hope, and this is just me, and I think other people hope as well that support your brand. I hope it becomes syndicated. I hope that it also gets to reach that level where it is, you know, um just really expanded in a way to where you grow. So I just want to encourage you, please keep growing it. You know, I, turn it into an octopus like you're doing, you know. Um, and so that way you are reaching everybody. You know what I mean? Because one thing I know is that there is room for you. There's room for me. And there's room for other people who have been chosen to speak and to share and to teach. And, you know, only the strong survive. Only the ones that are going to last are going to last. So please keep doing what you're doing. Keep always, you know, and I know you know these things, but just keep, you know, keep imagining and keep, keep trying, keep coming up with ways to serve everybody and break your podcast into sections. And that's just a, that's just a tip from me to you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that to anybody else. Some people may ask me what my business strategy is, what my plan is, but I'm very secretive of how I boom. You'll, you'll see it when I hit it, when it's posted, you'll be like, Oh, Oh, because I'm, I'm one for let it manifest, let it actually be here. And then, you know, I, I have so much stored up, but I release things. 
according to the time. You know, that way I'm always relevant. I'm always moving. You don't know what to expect. All you know is to put on your seatbelt and we're going somewhere with it. So I just want to encourage you to keep branching your, your podcast off. So now you really, you pulling in so many different people because if I may not be so much feeling, let's just say for my show, if I may not be really paying attention too much to the platform, but the culture climate has my, my attention because she's just talking about something that's where I'm at at this time. So, you know, just make sure that you continue to serve, you know, get that buffet out there for the people because you definitely have something to say. And then you are bringing on, like I said, like the people who come on your show, they're dope. Right. You. It's you're welcome. It's nothing like having like the shows don't work if you don't have the guests like it goes like the special guests make the show. You know, I, I just I say that all in all in all. It's not just me speaking. It's not just you and Rome and Mariah speaking Mariah. Right. I got that right. Right. OK, great. You know, I don't want to butcher that again, you know, but, you know, just being able to, you know, get out there and speak and have a voice. You like you guys are just. Ugh, you guys are doing it and you're young. I can only I, I can only imagine what's going to happen when y'all get into another decade of your life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to die now, so thank you. Oh, well, you're welcome. So have you ever thought about doing plays, you know, entering into the theater and coming on stage? <laughs> it's something, something in my mind, it's something in my mind to, uh, to play out, but... Um, you know, you, you want to take things one brick at a time. So as you build that building, one brick, one layer. So uh, these, the, the, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a head, it's a head in the future. That's good. That's what's up. I used to do plays and I was just talking about, I wrote a play. I wrote a play um, in 2000 and I think six. Oh, goodness. And um, it was a play about a father and a, and a home and the father had a gambling you know, a gambling issue. And it was just, you know, I wrote it and it was, it was, it was really a good play and everything, but you know, um, my play got butchered. Um, some, you know, you gotta be careful when you release your gift around certain people. That's what I want to share with my listening audience as we get ready to close out this show. See, I could talk to poetically all day. That's, that's one of the reasons why, you know, and just, you know, having all of you guys on, I said, I had to expand my hours because it's just too much conversation, but you know, protect protect your brand and protect your babies and the gifts and the visions that you've been given because there are some people who are out there that will try to steal, um, diminish, belittle, and ultimately try to destroy and abort your gifts. And you don't want let, to let people jack your joy. And your joy is also something that has to be fortified, has to be in that Fort Knox, you know, type of situation because joy is precious. Joy is something that is almost like the transmission of your life. It allows you to go. And when certain people see you in that light and with that joy, they'll try to diminish and take away what you're doing. And so we all need to protect our joy. It is a gift. It is beautiful. And it is something that helps us move. It can pick you up on a cold winter day. It can pick you up on a hot summer night. And so it's very important that we as visionaries, as creative artists, as podcast hosts, as people who have been chosen to really come into the world and make an impact that we protect our joy and we protect our gifts because there are people who have aborted their missions, who have not started with their passions, who have not started with their purposes and can become envious. And we want to pray for those people. You know, we don't want to count them out because, you know, you know, it's never it's never too late for anyone to ignite. But I just want to encourage you as well as everybody else who's listening, you know, just please protect your joy and protect your gifts. And sometimes you don't need anybody to say that it looks good or sounds good or is good. You know it's good because it was given to you, and that's and that's manna right there. So poetically, um, you know, tell everybody how they can. You know, is there anything that you want to add? You know, we need your words of wisdom before we close close this show out and and all of that good stuff. Is there anything that you want to share with the listening audience that you know you have learned and 
just know that it's a, a tool and a nugget that can help somebody else or somebody else's <laughs> uh, press well, through. Uh, no, nah, I'll keep it quick and short. I do. One thing I, I, I said to the, to the youth mm-hmm. on Monday was, uh, think it, say it, and do it. Just keep thinking it, saying it, and doing it. Just keep thinking it, saying it, and do it. And we'll get there. That's it. Okay, I appreciate that. And so do you want to give them one more time all of your social... Oh. Instagram, yeah. Poetically, P-O-E-T-I-C-L-E-E. Our podcast show is Be Poetically Correct, and that's spelled like how you would spell Poetically Correct, Be Poetically Correct. So on YouTube, Poetically Correct, SoundCloud, Apple Podcast, Stitcher, TuneIn, all those different platforms are so there. Just Google it. <laughs> yes, and then, yes, and please follow him. And also what I will do is I'm going to, you know, post on my page, his the podcast also you know so you all can see it and link up because I, I oh of course i you know we that's how that's what we do you know we share and we help you know introduce other people to to what we do so i just want i'm going to post that on my page also so you all can have an opportunity to you know peruse and get to know him on a better way um i'm just telling you now all of my jill badus and my erica scott's um what <laughs> what needs to not happen is you all ending up in his dms trying to finesse you you see you just now catching it that i call them jill badus and erica scott's i just remixed that whole thing right yeah, there I, yeah don't know you not Okay. So anyway, you know, you all be careful when you're entering into his direct messages. But on a serious, serious note, I want, as I say this all the time, brothers and sisters, this brother is who you need to continue to be on the lookout for. You need to keep his name fresh in your mind. You need to check out all of his dope poetry because he is extremely gifted and he does not write just for the sake of writing. He writes because he has a gift. And when he speaks, he's thought about it. And he you. and you're welcome. And he, and he's gonna sound just too amazing. Oh. I'm telling you, man, you should take me on the road. I'm telling you, I'll introduce you on all your shows. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> but no, seriously, brothers and sisters, you know, check him out because what we like is that Renaissance brother, that Renaissance sister, that king, that queen, you know, that represents us. And he, to me, this is just me, he's an old soul in a young body. You wouldn't believe how young he really is because of how mature he appears to be and how he is. You know, of course, he's still, you know, young, but, you know, the brother's definitely dope. And, you know, you can also, once I receive, you know, what I was talking about, you'll get to know also what else he does. But he's definitely an entrepreneur, too. So we're talking about, like, really a triple threat here, okay? So this brother's dope. Check him out. You know, check out, like I said, the podcast. You know, if you are, you know, into poetry, understand that he has, he's going to, he's expanding his brand. He's going to be, you know, going to different cities. He's also part of another group that's going to be touring and doing things. So he's on the move. So check him out. I want you all to stay engaged with the spoken word community as a whole. And I want you to stay engaged with the spoken word community concerning the individuals who I see, who I introduce, as well as who he introduces, because, you know, with them being on the show, now you may even, you know, shoot, I'm hoping you all will get started with your gift of poetry. I'm Look, I'm winning on the Sister Speak show. I'm winning on every single one of my segments, and I'm winning because I got dope guests. So he just told you what it is that you can do to get in touch with him, what's going on. So did you have a good time on the Sister Speak show this time poetically? Was it to your standards? <laughs> it was It was just, you know, it's my cup of tea. I like it because it's from here to there. Uh, I'm just, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, it fit. <laughs> it fit. So I appreciate you um, just just keeping the dialogue going and keeping the topics, keeping it interesting, keeping it funky. So that's, if it, as long as you can do that right there, I'm, I'm all for it. So I enjoy myself. Oh, I appreciate I, you. I can't be more appreciative of you wanting to even chat with me. <laughs> <laughs> you stop it. I'm honored, too, that you would even deal with somebody like me. So we're on the same page. All right. Well, somebody like you, huh? Oh, look. Now I'm talking. I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> so look, why don't you go ahead and send your shout outs to everybody who supports the Poetically brand? Oh, well, I should shout out. Wanna definitely got shout out Follow Rome DiCarlo. Uh, beyond your definition, follow Word Society because you'll then, by following Word Society, you'll see all the group of members. And I want to just shout out my followers on Instagram. And I want to shout out people that come see me. I'm not going to do individual shout outs further than that because mm-hmm. then you get to this and that and so much of yeah. shout out. But I just want to shout out those main people because those are people that end with me day right. in and day out. So, right. Um, so, yeah. And so just a quick question. What time do you get up and get started with your day? Um, <laughs> um, it was very, um, it's, I'm typically up around five in the morning, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm at the office now, and, and <laughs> it'll be work after this, or hopefully I can get to the gym, and, and or you know, and here for it's about midnight, and yeah, that's I mean, it's, wow. it's, it's, you know, when you want things, you want them a certain way, but sleep is important. Sleep is vital. Don't just say sleep is for the dead. That's you'll be dead sleeping yeah. that way. So. Uh-huh. I mean, honestly, honestly. So I appreciate the grind. I just wanted people to know how serious you are. You're up at five and you're on the grind and you're going. So you just keep going, brother. I appreciate it. The time has been well spent. You always, it's always great to have conversation with you. I will definitely, you know, put this in your direct message and, and, oh, of course you're welcome. And on that note, if there's um, not anything else that you want to say, we will definitely talk later. All right. I'll talk to you later. Okay. You take care. Brothers and sisters, you got to give it up for Poetic Lee. I appreciate great conversation, brothers and sisters. I appreciate great conversation, and I thank you for listening to Coming to the Stage this evening. You are definitely listening to a live show on the Sister Speak show. You have been a well-behaved audience, very patient, and I just thank you because that's what it's about. When you have great conversation, the time flies by, but guess what? We're we're finished, and so we're going to close this out. Brothers and sisters, listen. I want you to listen live all week to the Sister Speak show. And listen, I want you to hold tight because all this week we've got something for you. Tomorrow, brothers and sisters, will be the search effort. On Thursday, we have the culture climate. Friday, the tour. And my special guest will be Mont with SDYP, the movement. He is also another recording artist. And hey, I'm collaborating with Skeet the Young Poet. And he's sending these dope collaborations, these dope interviews, and I'm so excited. And guess what? Saturday will be the laugh line, and then Sunday we will have the platform. I'm going to be going live this Friday after my show on the tour because I'm going to be an event with the Hear Ye podcast putting on Bones and Bubbly. It will be in Irving, Texas. Doors open at 9. Tickets are going fast. Only three days left. They want you to be in the building. These sisters are on the grind and they are doing it and we have to come out and we have to support. Just $10, brothers and sisters, a night of games. You have DJ Don on the ones and twos. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. They have vendors, aviated visuals will be in the building. You know, you never know who's going to stop by to this event. So definitely come out and support. That'll start at nine and then... Like I said, brothers and sisters, are going to go live, so you'll get to see what's going on. You know, I don't really go live on Instagram, but this year we're going to be going live. So don't forget, tomorrow, the search effort, Thursday, the culture climate, Friday, the tour, Saturday, the laugh line, and Sunday, the platform, my brothers and sisters. Oh yeah, we're doing it live. Why? Because the Sister Speak Show is a talk show that will keep your mind and your soul informed, energized, and encouraged. We are a cultural renaissance platform, my brothers and sisters, that influences a climate that is conducive to who you are and who you should be. No reckless entertainment, 
just responsible listening nourishment. We don't go dumb, we go wisdom. Because on the Sister Speak Show, you're going to get special guest interviews, live performances, in-studio interviews, and live on-location reports. Don't forget the special guests who will be on the Sister Speak Show are dynamic, and they are impacting the communities with their passions, my brothers and sisters. Oh, the Sister Speak Show, where contemporary meets vision, sound, and action. A talk show for great minds that create, inspire, and eat. Evolve. Brothers and sisters, have a wonderful evening. It's extremely cold. Please, please, please stay warm. Drive carefully, you know, and, and just stay safe, okay? And let's definitely pray for those who do not have their energy on right now. We need to pray for those who are, you know, on the streets, even though, you know, there are definitely laws in place ordinances in place that say no one can be left on the streets you know let's just pray that these shelters that are open for them will be able to hold as many as they can hold that they will get warm meals you know we need to be very grateful for what we have for our shelter for everything that we have we cannot take things for granted the older i get the more i understand that look we are blessed And that we are doing better than some and worse than others. But the ones who are in a season where it is difficult, we have to be mindful and we cannot be arrogant. We have to really understand that humility is a portal for the fruits of the spirit to manifest. So let's just be mindful that if your heater is on tonight, that is a blessing. If you have an electric blanket, that is a blessing. If you have pillows and a comforter, sweater, scarves, all of those things to help kind of shield you from the cold, even though your flesh was given to you for you to be able to experience hot and cold, that there are things in place. So please be grateful and please drive carefully. Please drive carefully. And to all the people who own companies, stop making your workers come to work in this type of weather. I said it. If it's snowing, shut it on down. And that is a public service announcement from me, Ayana. (laughs) Brothers and sisters, I'll speak to you tomorrow live recording all the way from Dallas, Texas. You have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed evening. Good night.